Well, welcome to the ebook revolution again. I'm Jeff Hughes from Madhouse Media, and uh, thanks for tuning in, and thanks to all our listeners on the Stitch Network and iTunes. And once again, if um, you enjoy the show, I would love you to head over to iTunes and just leave a little token of your esteem in the form of a review because uh, reviews help rate the show and reviews um, help get the message out. And the message is um, from Madhouse Media that I want you to produce content. I want you to write ebooks. I want you to create a platform. I want you to join the ebook revolution. And writing is one part of that. Writing a book is great. Writing a blog you should start a blog, you should write an ebook, but you should also create a platform. A platform is imperative for um, helping you get your message out. And a, a platform can be as simple as a blog, um, Facebook, etc. But the key is getting it all integrated. And um, really, if you want to join the ebook revolution and become an entrepreneur you really need to look at the marketing side of it as well and that encompasses building a platform now i know a lot of writers get a bit funny about marketing i know you, you you're sitting in your um ivory tower i mean my my i'm in a brick tower it's not really ivory <laughs> on the fourth floor but um you know, writing's a fairly solitary and uh, introspective pursuit. And um, unless you have a publisher um, behind you, you know, giving giving you that push, giving you that rah-rah, helping you get your message out, well, it's very difficult to take the next step unless you have a platform. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. Building a writer's platform, how do you go about it? Now, I've had a podcast uh, previously uh, about the importance of building a, a writing platform, and it is important. But what I would like to do today is just go a bit meta and um, just as a way of example, I suppose, uh, talk you through how I've built my platform here on Madhouse Media and how all the, the various parts clunk together. And my favourite tools, and I hope um, that is useful for you to um, get yours together because really if you're self-publishing a book, um, self-publishing on Kindle with an e-book, without a platform, um, it's just makes it extraordinarily difficult for you to get your message out. And what a platform helps you do is create a tribe. Now, you want to gather your tribe around you. You want to gather people that are interested in your message and what you have to say. And the way you do that is through a platform, but also by giving value. That's the key thing. Give value, attract your tribe, and keep giving value. It's no good building a platform and then um, just saying, buy my stuff or buy my book. That's a big turn off. <laughs> it what really works is reciprocity, and that's giving, freely giving. If you give something to someone with nothing wanted in return, what happens? It's just a basic psychological trigger. Right now, there's <laughs> without getting all um, psycho on you that it's neuro linguistic. Programming. We're, we're basically programmed to behave in certain ways. And one way we behave to program is, <laughs> program to behave, sorry, is um, generally to be nice to people. If somebody's nice to you, you'll be nice back. If somebody gives you something, you, you feel disposed to give something back to them. And this probably goes back to our prehistoric days when, uh, you know, most instead of living in cities of millions of people. You know, we, we lived in tribes of hundreds. So we had to get along or you're banished from the tribe. So if you you freely gave, 
it's a <laughs> pretty pretty good way of getting on. It's reciprocity, right? So a great way to build a tribe is to share your knowledge, share stuff that's useful, and just freely give. The point of building a platform is not to sell, although ultimately you, you do want to get your message out. And if you have programs or books, etc., you you want to um, sell them. But you're never going to build a platform or a tribe if that's your primary <laughs> mode when um, people come across your platform. And uh, you see that at getting it again and again. You see so many spammy, slimy um, websites and. You, know, you feel like taking a shower after <laughs> after visiting, or you, you might sign up for something, and you just get hideously spammed by um, material that's got nothing to do with what what you signed up for in the first place. That's not the way to do it. So let's just lift the curtain a bit, and um, I'll, I'll walk through how to build a platform. Actually, how to put one together. Okay, let's look at the key things you need in a platform. They are simply, one is a blog, um, two is a mailing list, um, and three is some social media, at the very least Facebook, but ideally Facebook, uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. So those four, five elements are all you need to start building a platform, okay? So let's look at the blog. Why do you need a blog? Well, a blog is a great way to um, create your authority, create your brand, okay? When people find you, they'll come and Google you or try to see what you're about, and uh, even if you do get a book up there on Amazon, people will look at um, who is this person? Why should I pay attention to them? What value do they give? Are they a sleazy, slimy spammer? Um, do they have something interesting to say? Your blog can answer all those questions for you as well as being a hub for all, all your other social media activity. So um, to... Let's look at the mechanics of it first. Setting up a blog um, is just ridiculously easy these days. You can just go to wordpress.com, um, that's wordpress.com, and you can set up a free blog, okay? Um, you can just select a template, and that's enough to get you going. It won't cost you a dime, and then you're able to regularly blog, you once you set up a free account, you just select a template, and you can get a great looking blog for free. Now, um, the the big difference is in the domain name. The it's a WordPress domain name, so if if you want um, your name dot com, um, you can't do that on a free WordPress blog. It would be your name dot WordPress dot com if that makes sense. Okay, so let's just not get <laughs> get bogged down in the technical details at this point. But um, if you want a free blog, go to WordPress dot com, set it up. If you can put up with the, uh, and it's called a subdomain. You know, your writer name dot WordPress dot com. That's enough to get going. Won't cost you a cent. Okay, so you set up your free blog. What are you going to blog about? It's imperative to um, blog regularly. It's no use just having a, a blog up there which just sits sits there and is rarely updated. One of the great joys of blogging, I find, is just – it forces you to have a deadline and um, it's it's just forces you to practice writing. So even if you don't feel like writing, 
if you've got a blog deadline once or twice a week, you've got to write an article. And the fact that you're publishing an article publicly for people to read is just wonderful. It's, um, it really does focus your writing chops and it makes you better. So my advice to you, starting out, write something, set a deadline, say once a week. I wouldn't recommend blogging more than once a week when you get started because it can um, get overwhelming. Um, once or twice, certainly no, no more than twice. Some people start blogs and they just go gung-ho and um, determine to you know, write five times a week. Um, you'll find it very, very difficult to keep up that, that schedule. And also, when you first start a blog, the the um, truth of the matter is, no one's going to read it except your nan and uh, your wife or your ex husband or whatever, um, or your friends. It takes a while for a blog to get traction. the The key is just start doing something. Right, start regularly publishing. Your first few few blogs are going to be banal and <laughs> and boring. Let's face it. Um, if you want proof of that, go back to my blog and find the original first post. Um, I think it was about a hundred words. It's you've got to you've got to grow, and you grow by doing. Okay, not by not by uh, waiting for the perfect inspiration and then crafting the perfect blog post. If you do that, you're basically procrastinating and you're, you're trying to be too perfect. Don't, don't get perfection paralysis is what I call it. Just, just act. Um, <laughs> you know, as General Patton once said, um, it's better to, execute an imperfect plan violently now than a perfect plan later on. So just do it. Act, create a blog, start blogging once or twice a week, max, okay, at wordpress.com. Now, what to blog about? Well, think about your your writer persona. Who Who do you imagine yourself as a writer, what what sort of information can you share? Remember when I spoke earlier about it's all about giving, okay? In it's social media, it's giving. It, it's not just putting a message out there to buy, 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 buy. You want to give. So when blogging, think about how you can give, how you can share information. Now, it, it can take a while to find your legs and find your chops and, um, you know, start f- finding the theme of your blog. And, again, the best way to do that is just by doing, by by writing, by focusing, by giving value. That's how it's going to work for you. N- nobody wants to read your blog unless you're giving value. Unless you're hilariously entertaining <laughs> and a, a natural-born comedian, um, it's it's much better to give value. So think about what type of writer do you want to be? What 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 are you going to write about? What's your bag? Okay, think about that when putting your blog together. Let's give a for instance, okay. Um, let's say you're a romance writer, <laughs> okay. And there's some gentlemen out there that write romance as well, but mainly the ladies, which is fine. It's a huge genre, very profitable on Amazon. Um, serialized romance. Let's say you write romance. What do you got to blog about? Well, you could blog about your ideas for writing romance, how you write romance, how you plot your romance books. 
um, how you name your characters, troubles you've had um, putting your first book together. Um, you could blog your cover art as you get to that stage and, and ask for um, input and feedback. Do you see where I'm going with this? Basically, blog around your topic. Share information. Um, this is how you'll, you'll find a tribe and a tribe will come with, to you and you're sharing information with them. Okay, you're sharing information with other romance writers who um, hopefully <laughs> like you <laughs> to be in their community as well. You comment on their blogs, they comment on yours. Uh, readers of uh, romance fiction can find your blog as well. So the basic message is write around your genre. So whether it's romance science fiction, zombie shock, horror, vampire, um, or if you're a business writer, if you're writing about marketing, write about marketing tips. Um, give free information away. If you're writing about financial advice, um, make the focus of your blog um, financial advice. The, the, the whole point of putting a blog together is create your authority, okay? And your authority is your writer's brand. And the more you write about your genre, the more, and your bag, the more authority you'll have. Trust me on this, okay? So you've got to create a blog. You've got to start writing around your genre. And this creates your authority, okay? Okay? So that's the first part of a platform. The second part of a platform and a blog is just as important, and that's a mailing list. Now, what's a mailing list? Some of you listening will know exactly what I'm talking about, people in marketing. <laughs> and again, you know, um, writers have this funny view of uh, marketing that's, uh, you know, evil, evil dark art. But... If you want and strive to be an entrepreneur and um, a self-published independent content creator slash writer, you need to um, uh, uh, research and learn about marketing techniques as they apply to the internet and they're always changing. Um, but a core, core part of a platform is the blog and the mailing list. Now, why do you need a mailing list? A mailing list helps you capture email addresses. Now, think about that, okay? If somebody just finds your blog on Google by random, how do you know they'll ever, ever come back and um, get your message again? Think how you use the internet, okay? Okay. You Google for something, you find it, you move on. If you found something interesting or a voice you liked, um, it's highly unlikely you'll ever return to that website again or even be able to find it, even if you go digging through your history and your browser. This is why clever marketers ask for email addresses. But again, it's reciprocity. You know, you're asking for th something private from, from somebody. You can't just expect somebody to give you their email address. You've got to give something back. So it can be as simple as at the end of every blog post, you have a little form there. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my blog. If you'd like to get free updates, just um, pop in your email address and you'll get... Um, my blog update sent straight to you every time. As simple as that. And what happens is slowly over time, you'll start to amass your tribe. People will trust you with their email address and 
you can then contact those people whenever you like. Now, this is, you know, with with great power comes great responsibility. It's one thing building a mailing list. It's another thing spamming those people because that will destroy any authority you've created in about 1.3 nanoseconds. The whole point of building a tribe is sharing and giving information, useful information, building your authority. And you can do that by email marketing. Once you have the email address, you know, you can, your, your email marketing may be as simple as um, uh, your email list, getting your latest blog updates. So, you know, every time they see an email from you, they see you've got something interesting to say because they've enjoyed your blog posts, they've signed up. So you're building on that authority, okay? And you can send them additional information, you know, uh, you know, maybe stuff that you're not blogging about just to build your authority even more. Um, that's what a mailing list is for, not to be abused, not to be a, a, a dirty, slimy <laughs> um, email marketer, um, to build your tribe, to build your authority. Now, you can put a mailing list together for free as well. So you can put your blog together for free at wordpress.com or you can use um, mailchimp.com to put a free mailing list together. Now, these are, these are very basic um, systems, the free ones. Once you get established, um, you can step up in the world. You can um, create a hosted WordPress um, blog um, for, for as little as, you know, five bucks a month on, on companies like bluehost.com. Now, what this lets you do is create a hosted WordPress installation for your blog. And this is a bit of a game changer because you can buy hundreds of um, specialized templates to give you a uh, a fantastic looking blog. I mean, you know, m- most of the the websites and blogs you see on the internet are, are hosted WordPress dot com, us um, dot org. <laughs> Sorry, there's a difference between dot com and dot org. Dot org dot com is the uh, free one. Dot org is um, the hosted version, which is much more sophisticated, much more powerful. Um, it allows you to have a lot more control over the look and feel. And again, with uh, MailChimp, that's the free version, MailChimp.com. Won't cost you anything, but it's ve- fairly limited in what you can do. You can capture email addresses, etc. cetera. Um, what I use, Madhouse Media, is a hosted um, WordPress installation. If you have a look at the blog, um, that uh, lives up on in the cloud uh, on a sophisticated server, but it, it's very inexpensive. But that's um, using a uh, pre-purchased template, so it gives me a great look, great functionality. And the mailing list I use is, um, and this isn't an ad for these organisations, it's just the, <coughs> pardon me, the ones I use that um, give me good value. So I use Active Campaign, which is a um, very sophisticated uh, mailing list company, which you can pay for about thirty dollars a month, and that lets you do a whole lot of sophisticated things in the back end. Which um, I won't <laughs> go into detail here because it'll bore you to sleep. Um, but for the geeks, <laughs> platform geeks, yeah, it's quite exciting. Trust me. Um, there's also solutions like AWeber, AWeber.com, again, for about 30 bucks a month. From there, you can even go go harder, go higher. Um, uh, there's platforms like Infusionsoft, which is basically 
complete automation of everything, but you know, you'll be paying about ninety dollars a month. So you can my my message in, in this podcast is you can get started building a platform without spending a dime. But as your platform grows, as it will, as you get your message out there, you can um, slowly purchase more sophisticated tools, I suppose, is the message. So um, let, let's just um, recap, okay? You've, you've built a blog, of a free blog at wordpress.com. You've got a mailing list um, at um, mailchimp.com. You're blogging regularly once a week. You're slowly growing your mailing list. You know, people are opting in. And you're, you're giving them value. You've started building a platform. Now, you can turbocharge that by adding other channels to market. Um, sorry for <laughs> sorry for getting all markety again on you. But uh, that's a marketing term for the non-marketers there. Channels to market. There's various ways to find fans and members of your tribe Um Customers, if you like, I prefer uh, tribe members because the whole point of building a platform is when when you finally get around to to launching your book or planning your launch. Just just imagine for a moment. Imagine you've got ten people a week opting into your mailing list from your blog. Okay, ten a week. In a year, that could be you could have over five hundred people on your mailing list, and that's just conservative. So, they're people that could potentially that these people on your mailing list they're they're already attuned to your message. They already like you. They um, like the information they get from you. They trust you. You become a trusted source. So, when you get around to publishing your book, well, hey, guess what happens? You can communicate with your mailing list. It's not random people who have disappeared, found you on the website and disappeared. You've actually got their email address. And if you've been ethical and you haven't spammed them with nonsense or rubbish, well, there's a a very, very high probability they're going to be responsible responsive to your launch message for your book. So this is the whole point of building a platform. Again, free, wordpress.com, uh, MailChimp for the mailing list. So you could you could be getting, as long as you regularly write content, you could be getting people slowly signing up for your mailing list. Way to turbocharge it is through social media. If you... Um, aren't using Facebook already, you should be, but you don't have to use your private Facebook account. You can set up a uh, writer's page, which is separate from your private Facebook account, um, and they're not cross-linked, so anything you post to your private page won't come up on your writer's page. So basically, you just recreate the profile you've created on your blog on your writer's page. And this is where the magic starts to happen. You need to cross-reference everything. So you you set up a a free writer's page on Facebook and you start um, posting information around um, your genre again. You always stay on message is my advice to you. It's important to stay on message. It's important for me to have a... A sip of water at this point. Ah, that's better see live radio. I do this in one take. Um, <clears throat> no no editing shenanigans. <laughs> Gets back to my community radio background. I like to pretend I'm uh, broadcasting live when I do these things because it's much simpler. Anyway, enough about me. Back to you. Um, what was I talking about? Facebook, yes. Set up a, a Facebook writer's page and uh, start posting on topic, whatever your genre is. We talk about, you know, romance writers, etc., um, 
marketing, what whatever your persona slash genre is, you replicate it on your Facebook writers page, you start posting and you make sure that your blog has a link to your Facebook page and your Facebook page has a link to your blog, okay? And when you publish a new blog post, you can um, put a post to that on your, your Facebook writer's page. Why would you do that? It's quite simple. Just because you have a blog, that's great. I, and I hope you take action after this podcast and, and um, get it together. But just because you have a blog doesn't mean people are going to find your brand, find you through the blog. They might find you through Facebook, okay? You could be posting stuff on your Facebook writer's page on genre, Let, let's say it's romance again, you're, you're posting about that, you're building fans, people are liking you. Those people might not even know about your blog, okay, unless you tell them. So you cross post. And what do you think might happen? The people that like you on Facebook, that are engaged with your message, that trust you, that trust you, your authority, follow you back to your blog and, hey, presto, they might like your blog post and sign up for your mailing list. It's a channel to market, okay? Facebook is one channel to market. Every social media um, service is a channel to market. Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, even YouTube. YouTube's a great channel to market for writers. I mean, you can... Um, Great way to promote your book. Um, you can create an inexpensive book trailer. Um, you can get help from um, somebody on Fiverr.com if you want to make $20, 30 40 $50 and get a great book trailer. You whack that up on YouTube. Um, again, linked back to your blog, linked, cross-linked to Facebook, and you cross-promote. So if you put a, a book trailer up on on YouTube, you would post a link about that on uh, Facebook with a link to the YouTube trailer and you would blog post about it. So all three are now relating to each other. And again, people may only discover your platform through YouTube. They might come across your trailer and think, this is a great book, oh, I'd like to find out more. Who is this person? Unless you've got a cross-reference back to a blog, it's a dead end. All social media channels should lead back to your blog and your blog has to lead back to your social media channels. Think about it like a bicycle wheel, okay? The, the blog's the hub, hub of the wheel, and all the social channels are the spokes and it's all interconnected. It's as simple as that. So that's my message to you. Take action. Create a platform. Don't get stuck in a rut overthinking this stuff. It can seem incredibly daunting. There's so many pieces of the puzzle. And when you, when you look at other people's platforms, um, and one of my favorite is uh, Jeff Goins. He is just a prolific um, writer and it's really, <laughs> he's really created the game plan and the game book for an effective writer's platform. Go have a look at uh, jeffgoins.com. Um, just extraordinary. Great stuff to study. But when you look at, you know, writer's platforms on high-end writers like that, it can look a bit daunting. You think, how can I get all that together? Well, the truth of the matter is, over time, time is your friend, but only if you take action. You've got to take action. You can't sit on the fence. You've got, you really got to take action. Don't have perfection paralysis. I mean, 
I think my blog started as a free blog some years ago. Um, it's had so many relaunches and style changes and um, I've slowly found my voice and I've tried different channels. The podcasting is a, a new channel for me and it's, it, I'm having great success with that at the moment. It's not... <laughs> What am I trying to say to you? Don't don't be daunted when you when you see all this stuff and think I can't do this. It's just too much. Times your friend. Just take action. Create a blog. You start small. You slowly expand. You find your voice, and you'll find your tribe. That's my message to you today. Um, I'm Jeff Hughes from Madhouse Media. I hope I haven't bored your socks off, but I do hope that you will take action and start creating your writer's platform right now. Get, hop into wordpress.com, put a blog together. Um, it's free. Start blogging. Start doing it today, and you'll be building your platform, building your voice, building your tribe. That's it for me, Jeff Hughes from Madhouse Media. You've been listening to the ebook Revolution. Uh, and of course, we're on the Stitcher network, but um, we're also on iTunes. And as I said at the head, I'd really love you to do me a favor. Could you please um, leave a review on um, iTunes? Because reviews help our show rank and it helps get the message out and the message is i want you to create content i want you to join the ebook revolution i want you to seize the day and shout out the window now i'm a writer and i'm not gonna take it anymore i'm jeff hughes it's been a pleasure catch you next time